Well, good evening. Here we have Jerome, translator of the scriptures, teacher of the faith, an all round good egg. Well, good Here we have Jerome. And there you can hear the audio is working because I haven't turned the thing off. Ha ha. Yeehaw. Sorry about this morning, guys. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I sat down and fell asleep. We had a bad night with the dog who's not doing as well as he could be. He's on a slow and gradual decline. Never good when your dog or your cat or any of your pets head towards the door, is it? Let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we reflect on all this day as held, the good, the bad, the ugly, and most importantly, the blessings. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me far. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. 
you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 9 and 10 God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Lord, we bring our day to an end with thanks for all it has contained and for the things that we have done wrong. For those we may have wounded, we come before you and we pray that their forgiveness and your forgiveness will be upon us as we pray your forgiveness will be with them. For all the blessings given and received this day, for all the endeavours, all the joys, all the privileges that we have had shown to us this day. And we, as a couple, having had afternoon tea, a gift from someone as we left ministry. Father, we thank you that people, though we are often flawed, do give good things, that we can overcome the iniquities and the injustices of this world, and we can be the right people. Father God, 
We come before you this night with gratitude for the people on our hearts and minds. We pray for the people we know who especially need a touch from you this night. Father God, we pray for Maurice Price and his family. We pray for Barbara and for Terry. For John Hambidge in Bristol, for Tam pa Stan Parry still needing further treatment for Derek Jones and his medical needs, for Enid and for Molly and Heather, for Estherline, for Joan and Alan, for Beryl Davis and Beryl Whitehead, for Norman, for Sheila and Karen, for Sylvia and Ray, Val, for Maureen and her family praying especially that tomorrow being the first, we're only a week away from Colin and his cardiologist appointment. And we pray for Norma and for Kate, for Charles and his needs, for Linda and Alan and the whole family. We pray for Caroline and William. We pray for Elaine Turvey and her family, for Tracy and Tim and their family and all their needs. For the Palmer family, for Margaret and John, for the Mackenzies, Graham and Gillian, for the Mitchell family and for Anne Murray and for June Cottrell and for Julian and Susan as they stand with their mum. For the Holmes family, for the Hattons praying, especially for Jane at this time. For the Palins and their merry, many needs. For the Gibbard family. For the Sanfords, for Philip, for Pat Watmore and his family, for Jill Williams and her family, for the Popovs, for the Bennets, for the Mellor family, praying especially for Gillian, for Luke and Steve Kingston and June Hawley, that you would touch them in body, mind and spirit and that you would bring to resolution June's needs. For Joe Johnson, for Angela and Buster, for Richard Fox and his family following his stroke, for Jane who, having been admitted, released and had tests, but we pray that the outcomes of those tests will be positive and beneficial. For Andy Bradshaw and wife Claire as mum changes home today pray for the transition to be good and for her to be well. We pray for Emma and Rebecca and their long COVID. We pray for Katie and the family as they stand with Ignatius and for the Iddens as they stand with Josh and Belle. For the Bennets and the Wildman and whatever the other family names are for Harry and Damien. For Richard and Amanda and their family and their needs especially with their disabled daughter. We pray for those we know who are beset by the challenges that are dementia in its many forms. And we pray for Amy and others we know, asking that you would strengthen them, bring them peace and steady their families that they may be good caring and right with the needs around them. We pray for Olive and Mo and Wendy Hilton, especially as Wendy goes into Park Farm. For those who are pregnant, for Timon and Helen, Catherine and Sam, Poppy and Elliot, Charlotte and Ryan and others in the early stages of their pregnancy. And Lord, we bring before you the needs known only to us, the people, the things, the places that are on our hearts this night. And as we lay them before you, Father God, we pray that you would bring a peace, a wholeness and the knowledge of your love made real for each of us through the Christ. So let us bring before the Lord those on our hearts and minds.
God, who in generous mercy sent the Holy Spirit upon your church in the burning fire of your love, grant that your people may be fervent in the fellowship of the gospel, that always abiding in you they may be found steadfast in faith and active in service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thanks for being with us this evening. Sorry again about this morning. Catch you tomorrow. Sleep well. Be blessed. Be safe. Bye for now. <laughs>